This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is uh, batch map. So we'll see introduction to batch map. Okay. So the the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what is batch management. Okay, we'll understand what is batch management. Batch management activation, how to activate batch management for a material, we will see. Levels of uniqueness of batch. So what are the three levels uh, for the uniqueness of batch? We will see that. Then batch creation in the production order, how to create the batches in the production order, in our PP production order. Then how to create the batches automatically in the production order, we will see what settings we need to do. Then batch master record. What is the data contained in the batch master record? We will see. Then we will understand what is SLAD, shelf life expiry date. Okay. And how the shelf life expiry date is calculated, calculation of the shelf life expiry date. And minimum remaining shelf life. What is minimum remaining shelf life and what is its importance? So these are the topics we will be covering in the batch management, introduction to batch management. Okay. So first we will understand uh, what is batch management basically we will understand basically what is batch okay so batch a batch is a partial quantity of material which is managed separately from other partial quantities of the same material okay so batch is like a production lot okay. suppose let's say you are you are producing a product Okay, so today you, you are producing a product. Okay, today you produced, let's say 50 kg. Today you produced 50 kg, same product. Now next day you produce 100 kg, same product. And after that, next to next day, you produced 70 kg, let's say. Now how to identify these kgs? Okay, so product is same. But how to identify these 50 kg separately? So for this, you will assign a number, unique number. Let's say you assign this A1. Okay. And for this 100 kg, you assign A2. And for this 70 kg, you assign like A3. I'm just giving an example. Okay. So these A1, A2, A3, these are called batch numbers. Batch number is like a lot number. Okay, so normally if you go to a pharmacy or a medical shop, uh, pharmacy or a medical shop, when you purchase medicines uh, on the on the tablets, on the strips, you, you will be able to see like batch number, manufacturing date, expiry date, those things you will see. So that batch number we are talking about actually. So this batch is like a production lot. Okay, in some industries they call it as a lot number also. So that batch numbering we are discussing. Okay, the main characteristics of a batch are homogeneity and non-reproducibility. Okay, so same batch you cannot produce. Okay, uh, the, its its features, its characteristics might be different. Okay, batch management is used in all areas of logistics. Okay, so this batch management, whatever we are discussing today. It is not only used in PP, it is used in other modules also. Other areas of the logistics like purchasing, okay, sales, okay, quality management, quality. So those areas also they will use. But we will be discussing batch management from PP perspective, only from the PP side. Okay. So now the question is why we need batch management? We need for batch management. One is legal requirement. So in some industries like pharmaceutical industries, chemical industries, food industries, this batch management is a mandatory legal requirement. As per the regulatory requirement, you need to use the batch management. Okay. Now, next one is defect tracing, callback activities and regression requirement. So means suppose let's say you manufacture a product and then you are selling it outside to the customers. Now there is a market complaint. So then how you will uh, do the defect tracing so there should be a uh, there should be some uh, unique numbering okay and also callback activities okay. suppose let's say you got a customer complaint 
okay you identified that that is having some problem now but at the same time whatever you got the market complaint there might be uh, other pieces manufactured at the same time so you want to uh, call back all those quantity from the market so in that case you need a batch number to to trace out all those remaining ones okay so for these kind of things you need batch method. the need for differentiate differentiated quantity and value based inventory management and also sometimes you will have the value of the product based on the batch different batches can have different value that is also possible and also production or procedural requirement, requirement. okay so sometimes in the production uh, then they, they have to use the batch management to differentiate the stocks to identify uh, a particular stock manufactured on a particular day with the number so so those kind of things you you have to use the batch batch management okay so this is what we discussed so the batch management is used in all the areas of the logistics like in procurement purchasing in the quality quality management in the warehouse warehouse also also in the production okay and also in the sales it is used during the entire logistics process basically okay so, so basically how to activate batch management for the uh, thing also how to use the batch management basically so to use the batch management first for the material you need to activate the batch management in the material master in the material master set the batch management requirement indicator in the material master record okay so let's go to the system okay so if you go to the material if you go to the system okay so here let us go to the materials we have created in the finished product okay suppose let's say if you take this one this is the one we are using all the time so if you take this if you go to material master mm02 okay so so you need to activate the batch numbering so i'll show you batch management basically enter the plant so here if you go to mrp4 view not here you need to go to plan data storage one view here you see plan data storage one view here you have the indicator you see batch management it's already activated so if you want to use this material in batches if you want to manage this material in batches you have to activate these indicators okay you have to activate indicator so this is how you activate the batch management and also it can be done in plan data storage one view or even in work scheduling view here also you can do there are three views where you can activate and also if the material is a purchased material you can activate in the purchasing view also also let me show you for your raw material if the material is a raw material if the material is externally procured material suppose let me go to a externally procured material suppose let's say if you take this nitric acid if you want to manage this material in batches go to mn02 okay now here it is a, it is as it is a externally procured material raw material there is a purchasing view so in the purchasing view here you can activate okay so you can activate any of these three places either in the purchasing or in the work scheduling view or or in the plan data storage view. the moment you activate in one view it will get reflected in the other views automatically okay any of these three places any of these three places one is purchasing view purchasing view okay another one is work scheduling view Next one is plant data storage. Okay. 
So you can activate any of these in, in views activator. Okay. So that is how you activate the batch management for a material. Okay. Now the next one is so once you activate the batch management for the material, whenever you do any goods movement, whenever you do any goods movement, you have to system will create the batch master record. Okay. Whenever you do any goods movement. And of course, at any time you can create the batch manually. 